Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're taking a look today at the August Smart Lock, the third generation. This is a device that uh, replaces one half of your deadbolt lock and allows you to do stuff like this, where you can take your phone, uh, push a button on the phone, and unlock your doors. And it seems to be working fairly well, and you can even assign guest keys to people whenever you want. And I'll show you how all this works here in just a second, but I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. Uh, this works with your existing deadbolt lock, and what you have to do is take off this portion of your deadbolt and replace it with the August lock, but the other portion of your deadbolt remains in place. Installation was very, very easy for me. It took me about 15 minutes, and I'm not a very handy person, but uh, it was very easy to get this going. The instructions were very clear on the app as to how to get this thing installed. It only works with deadbolt locks, so if you have another lock on your door, like on the knob, you're going to need to make sure that is unlocked if you plan on uh, issuing out guest keys, which I'll show you in a few minutes. It is powered by double A batteries, which are stacked on top of each other inside of here. So uh, that is what you use for batteries on it. It connects via Bluetooth to your phone. Uh, there's a Wi-Fi module I'll show you in a second as well that you can use to connect up with uh, online services. It can work manually here. So if you do want to unlock the lock manually, you can just twist it like so. You can also use your existing keys because it does work with your uh, existing deadbolt locks. Now, one issue I'm running into with this, though, is that uh, because my door needs to be pushed in for me to lock my door, if I try to do it now without the door being pushed in, as you can see here, I can't really do any unattended locking here, and I'll get a uh, beep and a notification that my door is uh, stuck. So what I have to do here is push the door in, and then I can go ahead and lock the door and finish up the routine. Now, this device costs $279, which is a bit pricey in my opinion, especially given that you can buy a complete smart lock kit that replaces your entire deadbolt uh, for less than what you see here from other brands. But uh, they do give you a Wi-Fi adapter here in the box, and we'll show you how this works in a few minutes. Basically, uh, this has Bluetooth inside of it as well as Wi-Fi. So what happens is this connects to your lock and then it also connects to the internet so that if you want to use an online service like Amazon Alexa or the Google Assistant, uh, you can issue commands remotely through those services or even through your uh, August app and uh, unlock your lock when you're away. If you don't use the Wi-Fi, you have to be in Bluetooth range of the lock, which may not be such a bad thing if you're concerned about security. Uh, so you can operate it without this device, but if you do want to add some of the uh, nifty features that you might be able to make use of uh, for remote access, for example, uh, you might want to consider plugging in the Wi-Fi dongle here. It was a bit of a pain to set up because they try to make it easy for you to configure everything, but uh, the Wi-Fi dongle here does not support five gigahertz networks, and it tries to connect to uh, all of the recent things that you have in your phone, and it takes about 15 minutes for it to try everything and fail before you can force it uh, over to a network that you know will work with it. So if you have newer AC wireless on your network, you might uh, encounter some frustration with this. So give yourself an extra 15 minutes or so for the Wi-Fi. It is a little frustrating to get up and running, but once it is up, it does work pretty well, and I'll show you some ways to make use of that uh, little Wi-Fi dongle a little later. Now, this is the app interface. It's running on my iPhone right now, but they also have a version for Android. It works the same on both platforms. If you want to uh, access other homes that you have these locks set up at, you can set them up here and uh, click on that little icon to bounce around between them. And then, of course, you can unlock and lock your lock here just by tapping on the button. Uh, right now, I am connected via Bluetooth, and the range on it is better than I expected. Uh, but if you do need to make a Wi-Fi connection, if your lock is not accessible uh, where you are, you can tap on that Wi-Fi icon right there to uh, go through the internet to get to your lock. Again, only if you have that Wi-Fi thing installed and configured. Uh, down here, there are some additional icons. So I can click on this one here and get a activity log of all the things that have been going on with my lock here. So it keeps track of when the lock is manually unlocked. So even if somebody shows up with a key, I'll get a notification about that. And then you can see here down towards the bottom, Corey came by and unlocked his uh, lock when he started his work day here. He works for me here in the studio, so it keeps track of his access as well. And that's one of the cool things that I liked about this is that I can set up as many guests as I want and I can limit their access. So right now, Corey can come in the door uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
Uh, but if he shows up at uh, 630, he's not getting in. Uh, if he shows up on Thursday, he's not getting in either. So it is uh, giving you the ability to allow people into your home without actually giving them a physical key. And I think that is a, a pretty nice feature of this. A lot of other uh, locks that I've looked at uh, might charge you for this feature. This is free as part of the deal here. So that's good. But they're going to ding you in other areas, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, over here on the settings screen, you can just keep track of all of the different locations that you have these locks set up at. Now, if you're one of those people that's always concerned about whether or not you lock the door after you left the house, uh, you can, of course, log in and check to make sure that the door is locked. But they also have a setting here to automatically lock the door if it's been unlocked for a period of time. So if I go over here to auto lock, uh, you can see here that I've got it set on a two minute and 30 second timer. So if somebody unlocks the door, Two minutes and 30 seconds will go by and then it will lock itself automatically. Now, right now, this doesn't work for me because I got to push my door in a little bit to get that deadbolt to engage. But once I get that door fixed, that will happen. So I don't have to worry about the door ever really being unlocked. So somebody will let themselves in. If they didn't lock the door, the door will lock itself after a certain length of time. And one thing that really kind of set me off a little bit is their active monitoring service. Now, right now, it doesn't look like it's active as far as being able to take money from me. But uh, from what I gather here, if I back out of this, it looks like to get a notification, I'm going to have to pay for a subscription service. Uh, right now, apparently it's not working, or at least the subscription service part is not working. So I am getting notifications through the app right now. Uh, but it looks like in the future, that might be a paid uh, feature of this product, which is uh, kind of stingy, especially when you're spending $279 for a piece of hardware. Uh, to pay for a feature as simple as getting a notification uh, feels a bit extreme for, to me. But there is a way to get notifications for free involving IFTTT. So let's get my computer hooked up and see how you might be able to do that. Now, IFTTT is a service that connects things together. They can take, uh, for example, a uh, post on Facebook and put it on Twitter, uh, but it also works with a lot of these Internet of Things devices so that you can have physical things happen when software events occur. And in this case, uh, we're going to be connecting up uh, this light bulb here, which is currently off with our lock through IFTTT. So when this lock is unlocked, that light bulb will turn on. So let me show you how this works. We're going to go and create a new applet at IFTTT. I'm going to search for the August system that I've already connected to the IFTT service. And by the way, you need to make sure you've got that Wi-Fi thing installed for this to work because IFTTT works over the internet and your lock has to get on the internet. And the only way it can get on the internet is through uh, that Wi-Fi dongle we looked at earlier. Now, IFTTT works through triggers and there are four triggers currently available for uh, the August lock. So we can set it to do something when the lock is unlocked or when it's locked, or if a specific person unlocks or locks the lock. Uh, in this case, we're going to just do a basic lock unlocked command. I can have it work with any of the locks in my house. So if any of the locks do anything, it will trigger off this uh, event, or I can limit it to just the uh, lock that I have here in the studio. I'm going to create, uh, create a trigger here, and then we're going to go over to that. And that is what happens when uh, that lock goes off. And I'm going to type in hue here, but you can see there are lots of other things we can have it do, uh, which I'll show you one other example in a minute that might avoid having to get a subscription charge from these guys. And we're going to go over here to my hue lamps, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to have it turn on the lights. And what it's going to do is uh, right now turn on all of the lights, but maybe I just want my studio lights to turn on. So I'm going to select the studio room that I've got set up, or I could even set up the specific lamp that I want to turn on. So if you have multiple lights in a room, uh, they can all go on here uh, with this action. So I'm going to go over here and create the action, and uh, we'll get a little confirmation here. And it'll also push a notification, by the way, when it runs, too. So I can have an additional way of knowing that uh, somebody unlocked my lock. If I'm not home, it'll send me a notification to tell me that the door was unlocked and the lights were turned on. I'm going to click on Finish here. and. Uh, we are ready to go. So while this sounds cool, in practice, it doesn't always work so great. So I'm going to unlock the lock here. And what should happen here, once the lock is unlocked and it beeps and everything gets uh, notified, IFTTT should then uh, notify the Hue system to turn on the light bulb. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be happening consistently for me here. And there are a lot of moving parts in this system because we do have that Wi-Fi dongle that has to communicate uh, back to the internet and also to the doorknob. And there you can see the light switch finally comes on. So it does work, but it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. And I think it probably involves uh, some of the communication going on between that Wi-Fi dongle and the doorknob. 
but you can, you can get an idea though as to how you can link all of your uh, Internet of Things devices together to have an unlock trigger uh, lights going on and doors unlocking in other parts of the house and that kind of thing as well. Now I also have IFTTT just sending me a standalone notification. This is pretty simple stuff, but it does get around having to pay for notifications if they wish to charge you for them in the future. So uh, what I can do here is anytime the door is unlocked, just send a notification through the IFTTT app. That won't come through the August app, but IFTT's app will send it through and I can also uh, get it on my watch as well anytime somebody unlocks a door. Now this also works with voice services and I've got an Amazon Echo on the desk. So let's see how we can uh, make the lock do things just with our voice. All right, so we've got our Echo done on the desk here and I installed the August skill via the app to get it all connected up and what I can say to it right now is Alexa tell August to unlock the studio door okay can I have your pin code one two three four very secure of course I, I know asked August to unlock studio and to update the status and there you Would go you the, like the, uh, the state of the lock no thank you and there you go, you can see that the door is now unlocked via the uh, Alexa app on the Echo Dot August here. I'll check the studio and it was unlocked. And it's very what helpful like to, to, to tell you exactly what it wants you to do. Uh, the problem though, of course, is that you do have to set a pin and that pin is issued verbally. And there's probably no way to really do this very securely because theoretically you could have somebody screaming from outside your door, have it be picked up by an echo near the door and unlock that door. And if they ever heard you issue the pin number, uh, they can get themselves in. So I think there's limited functionality here to uh, using your echo devices to unlock your door verbally. But another example of some ways that you can connect the lock to things on the internet and use it with other devices. So that's going to do it for the August smart lock and it does seem to do what I was hoping it would do, uh, namely the issuance of digital keys that can be set to certain dates and times and are revocable via my app. So uh, in the old days, we'd have to give a key to somebody. They could go out and duplicate it or whatever. And if I wanted to block that person's access moving forward, I have to get the key back from them. Uh, no longer. I can go on with my existing lock here, uh, issue a digital key, and then when I'm done with that person, I can click uh, delete and they are no longer able to unlock my door. That's a great feature, uh, but it is a little on the pricey side. So if you are uh, looking at smart locks, you could probably get a full replacement placement system versus this retrofit uh, for less money. But again, every situation uh, might be a little bit different. I am nervous about this subscription thing that they look like they're developing. And uh, if they do end up charging for simple notifications, I think that is a terrible thing. I am hoping that's not the case. But if it is the case, uh, you will be able to use IFTTT, it looks like, as an alternative. But as I found, it's not always the most reliable in keeping its connection going back to that uh, Wi-Fi dongle. So one of the challenges I'm having with the Wi-Fi is finding a good spot where I can get a good Wi-Fi signal as well as a good signal from uh, the Bluetooth on the doorknob and uh, that seems to be an issue here in my setup and I don't think the Wi-Fi connectivity is all that great on that dongle which is leading to some of the issues I'm having with it so you may have to play around with placement of that uh, Wi-Fi device if you do intend to use it remotely but it does seem to work very well as a standalone Bluetooth device and uh, for my purposes that's good enough but again your mileage may vary so that's going to do it for the August smart lock let me know if you have any questions down below we're going to be using this thing in the studio over the long term so if anything does come up later that's worth mentioning I'll do a follow-up video this is Lon Seibman thanks for watching this channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, John Prawl, William Miller, and Charlie Walden. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.